I'm, I'm comfortable. Just because this is home for me. And I'm comfortable no matter where I'm at, but I know a lot of people, a lot of people ask me all the time, you living back home in yeah. Evo, we be living, you know, LA, Miami, wherever. No. I'm like, like I said, I gotta it's come back home crazy. for what I'm trying to do. That and be the face of the city, you gotta be here. Like, that you can't be somewhere else trying to be the face of your city, so I gotta be here. And I'm comfortable here because I grew up here, I know. Mostly everybody, like I said, I can go wherever I want, move how I want to move, because I ain't, I ain't into nothing. Yeah, I ain't into no trouble, I ain't in no streets, I ain't trying to drag on nobody, I ain't trying, you know what I mean, I show love when I'm out too. So, they, they respect that, when I'm on the court, they see me doing my thing, they saw me, the city saw me grow up there, so it's always going to be love, and then like I said, I ain't into no, no drama, or no beef, I ain't into no streets or nothing. I play ball, I stay in my lane, so the city respect that. And I'm a cool dude, good personality. I laugh, I joke with people, I talk to people. I sit anywhere in the hood, outside of the gym, anywhere, sit and talk with anybody. You see me out, cool, like I ain't. Stand in my lane. You got problems when you don't, you ain't standing in your lane. When you trying to be something you're not. I don't be out trying to be no tough guy, nothing like that. I'm out just trying to have a good time and going about my day, going about my business. And that's it. I ain't trying to be too tough or none of that. And like I said, I'm just out here trying to put on for the city. Motivate these boys to go get it, go get some money, go follow your dreams. Most important, follow your dreams. That's what I want to show them. people watch me play, I'd be the one to bring a whole bunch of people to come see me play standing remote. That's huge to me. Like I said, that's, that's bigger than sometimes they're playing in the league. The kid that came out of nowhere. Now he got everybody want to see what, it, what the hype about coming to see, see him play. Just to do that in itself is an accomplishment right there. They had a whole city to rush down there at five, six, or seven, because they know I'm playing, and they feel like they got to come see that. That's huge to me. That's love, and I I really appreciate that. People don't even know how much that's really doing for me, because that was always a dream of mine, to be one of them guys that, that they talk about and got to see when he come home and play. Ain't an NBA game. It's a pro-am free. means nothing. It means nothing, but it means everything to me. I know people probably think that it means more than them, but it really means more than me to, for them to take they, tell their kids, we gotta go see Will Barton today. Or well, their kids tell them, hey, mommy, I wanna go see Will Barton play down there. He play at seven, he play at six or five, we gotta be there. And when I walk in the gym, it's standing room only. Wall to wall. Can't nobody else get in there, it's the capacity. And they know who I am and they shake my hand and they wanna take pictures. They want to talk to me, they want to laugh and joke with me, and we in the acting. To, to, to have that right now, and that was, like I said, that was something I always envisioned. I never told them, but I always kept everything myself. It just worked. I always, like I tell people, it ain't about where you start. I wanted to be when it counted. When we got grown. I wanted to outlast people. I wanted to, I wanted to lap them. And about when you at 14, 15, 16, it's still a long way to go to be a pro. You know, I want it to be hot right now. When people coming from work, coming to get something to eat, man, I gotta go see Shorty play. He down there. See this show. See this show, they know. Oh! Hey.
where I'm trying to go, but it's definitely to see it actually manifest is special. It's special. And it gave me a feeling other than basketball that I never felt before. Other than my kids. I never felt nothing like this. Like, like you said, just to be able to ride through here like this. It's crazy. It's crazy. And to be doing it in my city, that's what make it so special. Like to be able to do it here. Same place I used to catch the bus, the 5, the 22, or catching taxis or hacks. Now we just riding through the city. Clean. <laughs> Flat spine, look forward, shoulders back. Then, one more time, inhale, push out. Now lift your chest up, elbows straight. Good job, bro. Deep breath, downward dog, walk your hands one step back. Good. Any I know you got came here. I had to travel to the school. We're doing all our work. I said, cool. I don't know. I don't think I did it good. Pretty good. See, that's the one we don't come back to. Top 25 in the country. That's what I'm telling you. Kids now from my city, they look at it like find a basketball player, football player, or a rap, but I'm going to be a dope boy. But they ain't got no hope. We ain't showing them no hope. Like I said. If you ain't got no hope, what you gonna do? I'm gonna turn the other stuff. I'm gonna turn the stuff that's right in your face every day. Every day. So I'm trying to get them to, to go another way. And show them every day is possible. I see people face when I pull up. Dang, yo, my God. That's tough. Like, and that's how I want them to look. I want them also saying, I can get that. I can go do that. But the legit way. I'm not gonna ride and steal and nothing like that. You know, some of the kids, they feel like they ain't got no, no other choice, which I can't blame them coming from Baltimore. All uh, you see in the streets, but just trying to show them go get it a legit way, a more a safer way when you ain't putting your life in danger. Like I said, kids in my city they ain't even saying the age of 18. And they thugging already. Crazy. That's his all. Motivating me, like never caught it, just that said, dream come true. Sometimes, like I said, I still can't, I still can't believe it. And that it, it intrigued me and make me wonder how far can I take it. And that's what keep me working hard. How far can I take it? We don't know yet. But I'm willing to put in the work to see. You set your dreams real high, even if you don't accomplish them that way, if you don't get as high as you thought you were that you dreamed, the come down still won't be pretty great. You know what I mean? It still won't be pretty great. Like I always had dreams of being the first round to get my name car walking on stage, it didn't happen. But I still got drafted, still made it to the NBA. You know what I mean? Want to be, I always had dreams of visiting being a superstar in the NBA. I'm not there right now. Six man, average 14, six rebounds, some stuff like that, some assists. I'm still doing good, still one of the best players. So, like I said, you set your goals high, you never know what's gonna happen, but you put that work in, something good still won't come from it. And that's, that's what drives me. I don't know what's gonna happen. You can't predict that, but all I can do is set myself up, the best way possible by putting that work in, putting that work in, and then see what God got in store for me. That's my plan. That's just my perspective in life right now. Keep putting that work in, keep putting that work in, keep aiming high, keep having big dreams, and see what the, see what the chips fall. See what the chips fall, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming from here, I, I can't lose. I can't lose. Five, sprint five. Sprint five. Back to five. Prince five. Back to ten. Sprint five. Yeah, when I'm in, I, I pre-ordered this joint, and I'm in Portland. That's how crazy I am. I ain't even playing. I ain't getting no minutes. I'm on a second round deal. 
But I know the car don't drop for probably about another two, three years. I'm telling myself, shit, by then, I'll be on another deal. And I'll be doing my thing. That's just how, that's how much I'm willing to, the, 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 bet, the bet on myself and take chances. I, I trust in the work I put in, I believe my talent. Look at his head. Hey, 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 so, so like I said, we ain't even just a bunch of athletes right here. Rappers, athletes, guys just trying to do right in life. Business people, all that. I want people around me that are just trying to get it in a positive way. Like I said, it ain't got to just be no athlete or nothing. You on Wall Street, to respect where we came from. I can bang with you, like I said. Not like me. Yeah. Really selfish plan for the PTF to protect the family is something that I came up with, something that me and my friends would be proud of and claim and rap and do all positive things. And then from there, just kind of grew once people got a hold of it. They always liked it. They like what it stands for. And once I would tell them, you know, people around the world can relate to that. No matter what color, age, race, everybody wants to protect their family. So it just started taking on life of its own. And now it's like my brain. So I'm just trying to keep thinking of positive things to do with it. I don't know. Let it be my foundation and things that nature so I'm doing stuff in the community to put a name on it and you know do more clothes and shirts, hats, socks, you know, see we got sweatpants, you know what I mean? Just, just trying to keep wrong with it, but you know I'm real big on family, so that's why I created my mom. She was always there for me. Same mom took care of me, my brother and my sister by herself. And uh, we was always tight, my family was always tight. And then my core group of friends, I always told them they was more like my brothers. We weren't just friends, we was family. So, I mean, like I said, I'm real big on that. We even family or nothing with me. And one! Four! I like it! Four! What you going to do, man? Hey. 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 No, man, I don't really have nobody else in my life. You ain't my family, you ain't really, you ain't really around me like that, so that's how that started. That's another thing, like I said, I just want to show the community, the energy, the city. Like I said, you got to respect it. Like I said, who don't want to protect the family, you got to. You gotta respect it, no matter who you are, where you come from. We doing positive stuff. We ain't in a whole bunch of drama. We ain't trying to get in no trouble. We just trying to chase our dreams, take care of our families, and get money. You gotta respect that.